Do you like me? Not just as a friend. Amigos de película, estoy muy contenta de estar con los protagonistas de Normal People, una serie que no se pueden perder. Hi guys, thank you for having me. Thank you for having, Hello, thank you for having us. In Mexico, it hasn't been released, and everybody's talking about it even now. So, do you think being in quarantine while this is kind of like exploding everywhere will make your experience different, different when you, you know, come out and get to see people and fans and <laughs> get that approach? Yeah, I, do, I don't know. I think hopefully, well, what I'm, I obviously miss like family and, and my friends, but I, I hope the minute that this finishes that I'll be hopefully working and, and, and doing something else because um, that's the part of the job that is I, I think slightly a, a little bit more difficult to navigate whereas I feel like I maybe slightly know what I'm doing when it comes to work and, and, and stuff like that so hopefully I'll be on set kind of hiding from people. <laughs> Just get ready because this is going to get crazy. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. And you know um One thing I really appreciated about this show, because I think that's the one thing we all look for when we see, a, a, you know, a movie or a series, is that it makes you feel something. And yesterday I went to bed with tears in my eyes, thanks to you. And I was wondering for you, as you know, the stars of the show, which were the, the feelings that this story evoked in you? Maybe the first time you read the script or whether it was the book? Yeah, I mean, I think... I think it's so funny because we played those characters for such a long time. I mean, we and we were on set every day inhabiting them. So there was definitely moments where we came to film and we were desperately sad if it was a, if, if it was a scene where they miscommunicated or, or you know, for Marianne in episode nine, she goes through quite a lot and I think I felt very sad for her. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think what Sally does is she really writes a story that's, you know, everybody can resonate to in some way. Um, I mean, I, I particularly related to Connell a lot actually when I read the book and, and his sort of feelings of um, sort of struggling in social settings is something I, I definitely have experienced before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I, I love how real and honest the story is and, uh, and it was such a joy to film it. I remember finishing the book and kind of being an absolute mess because, <laughs> just because I think that the, the, the novel is like kind of this perfect adaptation or perfect kind of depiction of two people's lives and how complex and how beautiful and how sad and joyous it all is this big mix of emotions so i probably felt not just one thing but countless things as i read it you have sex with her and then she's not allowed to tell anyone is that it what are you afraid of people are talking about you i don't want you to go near him again is there such a way or such thing as creating chemistry before going on screen because you guys are amazing And is there like a way to work on that? Because I know you had an intimacy coach and all of that, but to, to just like build that kind of relationship before filming, just it feels, you have to remind yourself sometimes that it's fiction, you know, it's just, it's so well done. Yeah, I, I don't know, if, I, I don't believe that there's like an exercise or a book of exercise that you can follow to create chemistry. I think that me and Daisy just said very, A, we just, liked each other as two human beings, but B, that we had very similar ideas about who those characters were and, and what they were going through. And I think it, 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 that's, they're the only two things that I know to be true. It's not romantic or anything, we're just friends. I think you should go. I feel like I should have worn white, by the way, just to match you. <laughs> <laughs> and actually. <laughs> and, and you know, I mean, What's normal anyway? Because for me, Marianne is way more normal than Connell. You know, I, I relate more to her than I do to Connell. And I, I was wondering, you know, how much of our lives do you believe we act on what other people may think of us? And how do you deal with that in your own personal lives? I think what the story does so well is it kind of, it shows that there really isn't any such thing as normal and how, you know, normal is something we all seem to be wanting and I guess We live in a world where we have social media, so we see a kind of view of people's lives that's seemingly perfect. And I guess for a lot of us, you know, we're striving for that. But actually, what what the story shows is that what it is to be a human being is to be a complicated person that goes through a lot of different types of, of emotion and moods, and isn't always the most perfect or the most kind or the most wonderful, but is also incredibly flawed in lots of ways. And it's nice to see that we can still love those characters. And, and understand that they're ultimately good people, even if they struggle sometimes to uh, communicate or to um, 
to act the way they, they you know they probably should um, so I'd say there is no normal that would be why you said you wanted to see other people felt somewhat abandoned we were 18 you know we just looked like idiots I think it's totally fair if you resent me I think I'm gonna go. Please don't go.